Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of the video in the series of speed control of induction motor through VFD that is variable voltage when variable frequency. In this strategy we have to keep the ratio of voltage and frequency as a constant. So let's say if you decrease the frequency by 20% then you have to decrease the voltage as well by 20%. This is the model which we have made earlier in the last video. Let's copy this model. And for this particular instance, we have to get rid of this thing. So I'm going to just show you how the VFD thing work. Then in the next part, we will learn how to implement this strategy into an inverter. For this, just go to MATLAB function. Go to this function. We need three inputs. One is time. We'll let's take as T. The another will be frequency. Then next will be voltage. Okay, so these three inputs we need. With the help of these three, we need to generate three phase supply, let's say R, Y and B. All right. So for the R phase, the formula is as simple, voltage, sine, omega into t so we have to define our omega omega is nothing but 2 pi frequency simple then we have to create another phase that is y phase and b phase so i'm just going to make some changes here y phase this will be b phase in the y phase we have to add a phase shift of 120 degree and as everything is in radians we have to convert this in radian pi by 180 similarly you have to make change here 240 into pi over 180 all right so this will give three outputs three phase output over here so we have to give input first for the input go to clock for the time input no, we need a digital clock digital clock and we have to connect this digital clock to the time port here and before going further you make sure the sample time is 5 e, e raised to the power minus 5 all right let's enlarge it a little bit now we need a constant block to give the frequency and another constant block to give the voltage okay and in this case the frequency is 60 hertz and the voltage is 575 all right now we cannot connect directly these three phases into this we need a controlled voltage source rotate this thing connect like this similarly we need for three phase Now we can connect all these three here. If you want to observe the three phase supply as well, so you can do that. Select a mux. We need three inputs. You can connect these inputs to R, Y. And finally B okay and then you can observe them on a scope all right that's it let's run the simulation we are getting an error yeah the other port of this is open so we need a ground as well you can go to the library you can select this ground and you have to connect this ground Now the motor should be running at the maximum speed that is around 1780. Okay, you can, as you can see the speed is in negative. So 
we have to change the phase sequence let's change the phase sequence here let's make this y as b and b as y save this and run the simulation again now we should be able to see the speed in the positive and as you can see the speed is in positive and somewhere around 1800 alright let's stop the simulation and we have to make one more change in order to see the impact of changing the voltage and frequency as a VFD drive okay so what we have to do we need another block called slider slider again and we need to combine this voltage and frequency so we need a block called mux okay and why we are combining this because we have to implement the same change in both frequency as well as voltage then we have to again demux these signals so we can give the input to the block all right so now we will observe how this works out As you can see the motor is running at 1800 now I'm going to change the value of frequency and voltage and let's see what happens let's say if I keep it at 50% or somewhere around 50% as you can see the speed is getting settled around 900 which is half of the speed now let's change the speed a little bit less you can see the speed is not getting stabilized at this point of time because all the VFDs have a range they will work in some certain range only they will not support all the range now let's get back to somewhere around 80% okay 75% so the speed is now getting settled is somewhere around 75% of the total speed so you can play around with this thing and you can change the speed of the motor as and when you need and you can observe the impact of changing the frequency and voltage on the on the speed you can see here first we have changed there was some disturbance and after some time it got stabilized at some particular speed whatever the frequency was given in this region the speed was not getting stabilized because the speed was the frequency was too less to get set at that speed at that value now further the speed was getting stabilized somewhere around here and finally here that is how the VFD works you can you have to just keep the ratio of voltage and frequency as constant and rest the speed will respond to the changes in the frequency and the voltage so um, that's it for this video in the next video I'm going to show you how you can implement this strategy into an inverter because in the actual VFD we have to just give the reference of the speed and the drive will take care of everything it will change the voltage and the frequency accordingly with the help of the inverter so i'll see you in the next one